Hello, welcome to Golden Prairie Academy. This is Heather, homeschool mom of three. I thought I would do a better video about how we actually plan each week of, for homeschool. It's, <clears throat> I'm kind of um, on what some people call a loop, I call it a cycle. It's a little bit different each day. Now I talked before about how I use friction pins <clears throat> Because they can erase really well. And how I have each of my days color coded. So I'm just going to show you and go through what we have each day of the week for now. Now once we get through with some of these books it's going to change. But anyway for right now on Mondays we have Mondays in pink. And every day we start out with group daily text. And we will read that and then um, discuss it slightly, not very much. And with them, next we sing um, Pray Anytime together as the whole group. And then after that, Leela will go to her desk and she will do some Khan Acad Academy for Monday. And I will start doing this calendar time for Belle, which is a free download that I printed out and I can link it below. And I just printed it out actually when Lilo was in kindergarten, so about four years ago, and put it in these um, page protectors and inside this binder. And it just teaches a little bit of math, how 100 days of school, and how a little bit of addition, a little bit of time, a little bit of weather. This is where Belle is now doing it, so she's learning how to, a different um, number each day, she kind of does a little bit on her own there. And then um, this is a little bit about money and because of 30 days, 30 cents, 10 spots, one spot, a tally of the days. And then we go to October and mark off each day as we do it and do the weather, what season it is, and she finds the number and color set in. So that's the calendar time we do. It doesn't take very long. And, then, and we do that daily. And then... This, on Mondays, we do dice math with the children, which I just have these big, huge foam dice that I got from Dollar Tree, and I give one to Belle and one to RJ, and they roll them, and then RJ can just tell me what the number is on each dice, and then I have um, Belle add them, sometimes subtract them, that kind of thing, and we do that just for a few minutes. And then we go on to language arts, where for Mondays, we have silent reading for Leela which will just, um, this Monday will probably be a Little House on the Prairie book because she's just about finished with Autumn with the Mo Moody's. And then she will do CLE, which I have discussed before, is a Mennonite-based writing curriculum. This one's the cursive. She just does one page Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. But because this is about 70 lessons, it, I'm doing three lessons a week right now but in about two or three weeks I'm gonna put that down to two lessons a week and then that will help us get um, keep going through this through the whole school year but I wanted a little bit of a head start on it so we did it three days a week at the beginning and then we'll go down to two days a week and then while she's doing these two things I will be simultaneously doing with Bell and RJ well first with Bell first with Bell I'll do a hundred easy lessons lesson which that really probably takes the most of our time with Belle. That takes probably like 10 to 15 minutes. And then together with Belle and RJ, I will read one Toad and Frog story, one My Book of Bible Story story, and then with just Belle and Leela, we will go over a dictionary lesson, which for right now we are using um, Calvert's Kindergarten through Second Grade. Or no, it's four years old through six years old. I wanted to get the second grade one, but then they quit making it. But anyway, we just kind of... Leela pretty much knows this, but I just have her set stand there. And then Le Belle really does the lesson. It's a very quick lesson, maybe about five minutes long. And that's just once a week. And it just teaches her how to use a dictionary. Because I want my children to know how to use a paper dictionary, not just Google. And so then, after this, which all together will probably take maybe 20 to 30 minutes. Like I said, this is probably the bulk of our day right here. 
Then we will go on and we will do one watchtower study um, subheading, and that will be for the following week's watchtower study. And that's mainly just me and Leela, but sometimes the two little ones will listen in, but I don't require their attention during it very much because they've already done all this, and they're still very young. But oftentimes, even while they're playing with blocks and we're, me and Leela are doing this, they can still answer the questions because they have heard us reading the, the paragraphs. And then next, because um, we do every other day, we are doing the yearbook this fall. We usually do it in the spring, but as I explained on another video, we didn't get this year's done in the spring because I was trying to hurry through Calvert last year. So after this year, this is just a springtime thing but anyway three days a week we read a few pages of the yearbook I kind of um, go through and see when a good place to start and stop each of these little readings are so this particular Monday it'll be one page 118 to page 123 I like to keep it under 10 pages for this reading and then I categorize that under social studies and then we will also read one article out of our public watchtower um, October 1st we will do page 10 I now feel that I can help others I feel that that's a social studies type of a lesson as well so that's why that's under social studies this will only take a very few minutes then we do rod and staff music that'll be week six this is the very elementary music because um, we had done Calvert before and their music was not very, um, did not really teach much music, per se, as much as about the artist. We are trying to learn how to sing better. So I bought this. So this really doesn't take very much time because this is the beginning of music one, really made for kindergartners or first grade. So it's only about two or three minutes, maybe five minutes if we do a worksheet, like where they cut and paste. This is so that they can learn the shapes when they're reading the music and stuff and so um, a basic lesson these are the lessons it it only takes a few minutes maybe three or four minutes to do one lesson if that they'll be on the sixth week so it'll say introduce the shape of me which is a diamond shape and it'll I'll have to say it is the third tone of the scale what does its shape remind you, you of and then just go through that and then we'll repeat this lesson three times this week on Monday Wednesday and Friday and it, like I said it won't take very much time and then and I keep all of our lesson books right here so it's really handy I love these magazine um, holders they make it much easier to get to our stuff and then we will end the day with our Bible reading our daily Bible reading which I made a um, my own curricula for and I will give to anybody free. On this particular day, it'll be Nehemiah 4 through 6. We will read the correlating Bible story that is number 83. And we will print out the Bible card, Nehemiah. We'll sing the song number 33, probably at the end actually. And then we will go over our fruitage of the Spirit of the month, which is goodness. <clears throat> we'll read Ephesians 5, 8, and 9, which reminds us about goodness. And we will also sing the song 80. So this day we'll sing three songs in all. One at the beginning and two at the end. This will take us approximately two hours, sometimes a little quicker to get through. So that's an average Monday. And I do not fill in the day up here until we're actually doing it. Because if they're sick on this Monday, we don't have to be done. We can do this on Tuesday or whatever. And then Tuesdays is in purple. Again, we start with the daily text, the Pray Anytime song, and calendar time. I don't have what math Leela is doing on Tuesday, but it will come from this book, Franklin S. Hoyt, Primary Math, every day. And this one's kind of falling apart. I should have probably had it spiral bound. I tried to bind it myself. It wasn't the best. But I'll just assign her one page wherever we're at. We are probably going to be approximately on page 49 so I will probably um, assign her page 49 1 through 9 I'll see if it goes on to the next page it usually does not 
No, it doesn't. So she'll just do one through nine. They're all story problems this day. Sometimes they're not, but that day it is. And then, um, so I'll write that down in here when we actually get to it and I see what ones. For Belle, it will be her day of doing her math book, which we only do once a week with Belle. And it says that she will be up to lesson 14. Because at first I was doing more than once a week, but then I found we should probably slow it down to only once a week. So lesson 14, we're just which would be here. And it's all story problems that are just orally done. Sometimes we use counting bears to help figure it out, but really most of these she can do on her fingers and toes and or in her head. RJ will just play with, fin uh, with um, the counting bears on his own. He just loves playing with them. Then we will go on to pathways, which I've talked about in the past as well. They are a... Um, a Mennonite based company but the pathway stories are not biblical or have any kind of Bible teaching it's just morally clean stories and um, I haven't figured out which one she's up to on this yet when I scheduled it I'll have to look back at the last one she did but most likely it's gonna be um, Let's see. I think it's going to be this Great Plans one. Yeah, it'll probably be this Great Plans one. And she'll read this little story, which doesn't take her long. She's a very fast and um, motivated reader. And it'll just be to here. So about four or five pages there. And then she will do her workbook pages, which I just um, make copies of and have her do, the, do it on the copy paper because I want to save this for the others to use as well. Now I got these books free actually from Book Samaritan. So this curricula really did not cost me anything that I'm showing you right now. And sh Each of the lessons has three little worksheets to do. It kind of teaches them a little bit of English and like you know prefixes, suffixes, parts of language, noun, verb, that kind of thing. And then she will do primary language lessons, which is also twice a week. And that book I have showed in the past as well, but I will show it again. That book is right here. I got this years ago. Like Leela was only like four years old at a used curriculum book sale. She will be up to lesson 13 that day. So lesson 13. Very short. Write answers to the first six questions the cat about the cat in lesson 12. So she'll just come over here and do that. Not very long. While she's doing those things on her own, I will again do a hundred, uh, another lesson and a hundred easy lessons. Easy, yeah, a hundred easy lessons to teach your child to read with Belle. And then RJ, during that time, will be playing with blocks or cars or something. When I'm done with this, together, Belle and RJ, we will do an alphabet animal story, which I'm going to have Leela bring me that. Leela, bring me that book, the alphabet animal and the alphabet people that are over there at, at, by the story time place. Chair. Yep, over there. And then uh, we'll do a listen to God lesson, which is... It'll say alphabet animal or alphabet people. And um, then together they'll do a listen to God uh, lesson out of the brochure that we have, Jehovah's Witnesses brochure. And we'll do a My Book of Bible Story story. Then um, after that is over, give me the alphabet people too. This is, this. just go look in those boxes. This is the uh, a dictionary of animal Bible animals. I actually got this from our um, homeschool convention. I think it's Rod and Staff. It, um, it has animals that are actually named in the Bible and um, they're in alphabetical order. So depending on what Bell's uh, 100 Easy Lesson is about, that's how I figure out which letter we'll use. Like yesterday was F but yesterday was not our animal day. Yesterday was our Bible people day. So I looked under F 
and I just picked a character under F, which we went with Felix. I had Leela read this, and then I, I read this to myself, and it, it all was correct, so I went ahead and read that out loud to them. If I ever ha was to find one that didn't go along with our beliefs as Jehovah's Witnesses, then I wouldn't read this part. I'd just read that, and we just give a little talk about that. But so far, it's just pretty accurate. It just basically re reiterates what the actual scripture said about the person or the the animal. And so then, so that day is alphabet animal. Then, like I said, these. And then we will go on to uh, science. That is our science day is Tuesday. So Leela will do a rod and staff science, which is not very much. It's like two or three pages. Mm -hmm. And um, it will be, it says page 31. So that'll be chapter two she's getting into, maybe, yeah. So it'll be that, she'll do this. And um, she'll just read that. I don't, I'm not real big about her doing this testing. I kind of ask her those orally and if she understands it, we move on. And then we will pick out usually whatever the easiest um, experiment is to do, which I didn't look at that one yet. It usually has a few different experiments to do. It usually, let's see here. Oh. Let's see, it doesn't show any extra activities for right now on this one. Sometimes they do. Um, let me see if I can find a one that had extra activities at the end. And they usually give you several to choose from. Um, hmm. Let me see. <laughs> well, anyway, like one time it was... Um, putting water on a chocolate. Actually, no. I'm not finding him because this is our social studies. Sorry. Okay. That's why I wasn't finding it. Here we go. 31 of science. <laughs> okay. This is our science book. It's also rotten stuff. Social studies and science both rotten stuff. Sorry about that. So it'll be about water can destroy. And then, um, so it'll be like two three pages and again this also has little testing questions at the end but I just do them orally um, these are the extra activities here we go so it'll say um, this one just says do the activity as your parent as your teacher directs because this is also made to use in a classroom as well um, but oftentimes it has several different ones to choose from, like this one, extra activities. It has five different ones to choose from. We will only ch we would have only chosen one. That's I think this week, only one of these five. So anyway, I think we chose to look up scuba diving as what it what our extra activity was for math. I mean for science on that. And then again, since it's a, a Tuesday, oh and. While she's doing this science, I will be reading them a little book, uh, a magic schoolhouse, uh, school bus story. And they really love that. And then we will go on to the second subheading of our study watch tower. Again, probably just me and Leela. But sometimes, like this Tuesday, Belle was really on the ball. And she also answered. Or maybe that was Wednesday. Wednesday. Yesterday. So I put Bell answered the Watchtower awesome. But I'll, ju I'll just add that afterwards. But I am not expecting the little ones to be able to have the capacity to keep setting any longer. But if they do, that's fine. And if not, it's not a big deal. This particular day, it'll be art. We might draw a Bible picture. Oh, yeah, we're drawing a Bible picture for our Bible reading. So actually, that will probably be our art for the day and our Bible reading. And that Bible reading actually has a song too, but most of our Bible readings do not have a song. Mainly the song only comes at the beginning of our day and with our fruitages of the Spirit. 
And so then I'll, after the Bible reading, I'll ask her these questions, and then they will all draw a picture of the people working about whatever work they were doing, which I believe was building the walls around Jerusalem. But I'll have to set in on that and listen to what it was about. I actually read it when I made the curriculum, but now I have to remember again. Not so much. Okay, then another. Then this will be our Wednesday. And again, with daily text, calendar time. Pray any time is actually after daily text, but it was easier to put it under Raphael because RJ doesn't really have anything else to do in the morning, so I just put it there. I usually also put a little um, notes about what daily text was about just so that I know when I go back through here, or even if government or somebody was to look through that, they would know we actually did something. It wasn't me just writing that we did it. We actually did something. And in calendar time, I kind of just write uh, approximately what the temperature was, what how many days of school we had, what she wrote. Again, just for my own notes on that. But, of course, it doesn't have to be like that. And then, after that, Lila will do that every day, math book again. The two little ones will listen to a Brain Pop video. They have a new weekly video for free. I really have heard that a lot of public school districts will give you their um, password to their own Brain Pop because most every public school has a membership to Brain Pop. I just have not called my local school district to ask, so I just use the free one for right now, but I definitely want to ask because there's tons of really good free uh, educational videos on there, and the kids really love them. And then, because um, every other day we do silent reading, Lila will do her silent reading book, which again will probably be Little House on the Prairie. She'll just use the same book until she's all the way through it, and then we'll change the silent reading book. She'll do her cursive writing for that day. While she's doing this, I'll do the 100 Easy Lessons with Belle. And then together, Belle and RJ will do a little jewel book, which I don't think I have one over here to show you what it's like. But they're little moral stories, usually about uh, flowers or trees or little birds, um, helping mother, that kind of thing. Very short story. Um very muted pictures usually one color like all the pictures on that that page will be green or all of them will be purple or something it's very um, relaxing and then alphabet person like I showed you uh, my book of Bible story and then I also that day will bring out sandpaper letters which I might have those here to show you I think I have them over by the um, no, nope, I do have some right here. I have those. These are the capital letters. I have the small lowercase letters by our reading area. But these are sandpaper letters. Um, they have texture on them. This isn't actual sandpaper. They do sell actual sandpaper. This was just what was at our homeschool convention this year, and I bought them because Belle was having a real hard time with letter recognition. And I have heard that some children are more textural than visual. And Belle is definitely a textural, ta tactile person. She needs to feel it. Once we got these, she started recognizing her letters much, much faster. And the other kids just think they're fun. So we do those. And But that's just once a week. We pull out, again, whatever letter correlates with the 100 Easy Lesson that day, I pick out that letter, maybe two letters. And we feel on those. And um, so they do those together. Then we do health together, which again, that's over in my story time area, but it is um, brought in staff. It is only about one page to a, well, maybe a half a page to one page, and it just really is mainly about manners and um, like washing your hands, passing food if somebody asks. Leela just brought me the this. This is what it is. It's a small workbook. I do not have them do any of the activities in it. We, I just read it and orally ask them some questions. But it is a workbook. And we will be up to lesson seven. So that will be table bearers. I haven't read it, so I'll have to read that to see if that goes along with our beliefs. So far, though, up to Lesson 7 has been just fine with our beliefs. Helping other people, treating others as how, how you'd want the, to be treated was that lesson. This lesson is um, being nice to other people's stuff. 
not and if you break it to try to replace it that kind of thing this one was about respecting privacy knocking on doors before you op uh, go open them if you're at somebody else's house don't go into other rooms of the house without being invited um, again respecting others property uh, table manners um, helping others again that kind of thing now of course we do teach these without needing a workbook but I I'm ADD so if I don't have something to kind of keep me on track sometimes I would forget uh, even though we you we live these things as well so I think that just backs up our living life how we do it and then this day um, because grandma has bought them all um, magazine subscriptions and I don't want them just piling up and not getting read they will each read an article or two do a game or two in their magazines Leela gets highlights Belle gets high five and RJ gets Ranger Rick this will only take a few minutes it will not take very long then again we will do uh, me and Leela will do the yearbook the little kids are usually playing blocks at this particular time and um, actually me and Lila will probably study the watchtower first and then do the yearbook even though I have it scheduled in here the other way around so we'll do the third subheading in the watchtower and then we will do the yearbook and then we'll do music again again the same lesson as we did on Monday just reiterating it and then we will do our Bible reading and see there's no song for that day for the Bible reading part and I'll ask the questions I'd already pre uh, determined when I I quickly did the Bible reading well it took me about six months and made questions for each of my how I broke it down I did that last year it took me about six months to break down the whole Bible and put it into these three-year Bible curriculum and then we will do a fruitage of the spirit again the same one for the whole month goodness and song number 80 that's Wednesday then we go on to Thursday Thursday again start with daily text prayer anytime song and calendar time Lila will do another uh, page in that everyday math book Belle and RJ will just loosely do counting bears now they may or may not do this I have it scheduled I'm not real strict about this we've done other math during the week so if they do this on Thursday they do and if not not but they do love to play with the counting bears Lila will do another lesson in pathway readers with the three worksheets and another lesson in primary language lessons. While she's doing that, I will be doing 100 easy lessons to teach your child to read. And then after that, Belle and Lila, I mean Belle and RJ together, we will read one Richard, Richard Scary book, um, story, which I bought kind of a compilation of them at Sam's last year for really cheap. It's like, I don't know, probably 10 or 12 of the golden um, books compiled together for like seven bucks so that was a really good deal and then uh, and they love them especially the, gin the gingerbread man love it and the little red hen love it and so they'll do one of those stories just one story and then one bible story book uh story uh the my book of bible stories so that's a lighter day on our reading then we will do the fourth subheading in the watchtower study watchtower and the littles may or may not do some rod and staff um, preschool workbooks which here I'll just I don't do these in, in order I just pick what would look best for them which this looks pretty good I'd probably pick one number for them to work on RJ doesn't really do that he just scribbles on it and that's okay that's age appropriate Bell actually does it pretty well and then um, that's actually probably too much for Belle. Um, maybe something like this. But I don't know. That sounds a little too much for Belle too. Oh, here we go. Then I'll pick something like this. And they, actually Belle and RJ can both do this. Draw the line between the things that match. So the grocery store to the grocery store. And that kind of thing. And they can do that. So I take copies of the, these again on my copy machine and just have them do it and I got those for super cheap I may have even gotten those no I bought those at um, at the homeschool convention really not very expensive at all and then again on our public watchtower we'll read one page um, page 12 can we really find God and then it's social studies rod and staff 7 um, 
chapter seven, lesson seven. That's what I was showing you before, thinking it was science. Yeah. So anyway, if we read that two or three pages, we may ask the questions and we might not. Depends. And then it's art. And I'm thinking about painting cloth, but I'm not sure. We'll have to see if I can buy the cloth to do that or not. If not, it'll be something. We'll figure out something. And then, um, again, daily Bible reading. Again, no song. Like I said, most of these Bible readings does not have songs. Ask the question. Fruitage of the Spirit again. By the end of the month, they have this scripture and also the scripture... We also read Galatians 5, 22 and 23. They have that and the spirit, the fruitage of the spirit scripture memorized by the end of the month. And then, uh, because we just read it out loud every single day and kind of talk a little bit about it. Not very long. And then a song, song number 80. That goes with the fruitage of the spirit, by the way. And that will change with the month with the fruitage of the spirit. Then there is Friday. Again, daily text, calendar time. Also, we have already sang the song, Pray Anytime. Khan Academy for Leela, which it, it's free. Uh, she'll probably re watch some videos and play a few games on that. And then the little kids will do pattern blocks, which are like these. Leela, hand me that pattern blocks uh, worksheet. These, I got them at the homeschool convention, but you can buy them just about anywhere. Um, Rainbow Resource sells them. That's actually who I bought them from at the homeschool convention. And they just look like that. These were more expensive because they were wood, but I, all three of my children love to play with these. And I will probably even buy another tub of them, but I figure these will be for years and years to come. That's why I wanted to buy the wooden ones instead of plastic. And I, this one's all messed up because I used this a few weeks ago, but I just printed this out um, from a um, website and they matched the blocks on there. A turtle, and that was a giraffe. And go ahead and put that back. And so that'll be their pattern blocks. That's math. And then Leela again will do more silent reading. Again, probably the Little House on the Prairie, unless she's done with that book. Most likely not. Another uh, cursive handwriting lesson. And then while she's doing that, we'll do 100 easy lessons with Belle, one lesson. And we will read a McCloskey um, story again. I have a big compilation of them, so it's whatever story's next in there. And then, uh, and I'll write it in here like, we'll see what last week was. Last week was oh I didn't write it in there I'll have to write it later but the week before that it was lentil so yeah so anyway then I'll write whatever story that is and then when my book Bible story these two will be done together Bell and RJ then we'll do uh, together Bell and RJ will do a my Bible lesson it's a blue brochure from Jehovah's Witnesses just for toddlers. We'll do lesson number four. We'll do the public watchtower, one page, page 15, forgive freely. And then me and Leela will do a yearbook. This one's a little bit longer of a read, but there's probably some pictures or something taking up a lot of pages is why it's so long, 130 to 138. I like to keep it in the three to five pages range, but when it, it definitely under 10, but when it's like eight pages here, <clears throat> most likely means there was some pretty big pictures taking up a lot of the pages so it's not that much reading actually and then um, music again since it's the same week we'll still be on lesson six the week after that we'll go to lesson seven and then our daily bible reading our fruitage of the spirit and our song and um, the daily bible reading this time has a bible story and a bible card to go with it so we'll do that this part probably takes the most of our day with Leela. Um, the 100 Easy Lessons takes the most of the day with our, uh, with Belle, like I said, about 15 to 20 minutes where um, at most. Where the daily Bible reading probably takes us about 20 minutes, especially when you add in um, another Bible story and a character card or something like that. It could go up to 30 minutes. Um, 
if you have younger children, again, I really young children like Bell and RJ, I don't expect them to do this. This is more at least first grade, maybe second grade level. Uh, the little children who cannot set for that long, just a my book, a Bible story, and a Bible lesson from the brochure is plenty for them a day. And that, getting this, especially the my book, a Bible stories, getting that um, as a foundation before actually reading the Bible will help them so much understand the Bible reading when you're ready to do the Bible reading with them. Because they already know all the stories from the My Book of Bible stories. So I found that really helps them after we've gone through all the My Book of Bible stories and they know all those stories. Then when it's time to sit and actually listen to the Bible itself being read, they make the connections. They know these stories. So they're more apt to have the patience to sit and listen because, oh, they remember Esther. She was the one that became a queen. Yeah, they want to learn about, they want to read a little bit more about that. They want to know a little bit more details about that. So that's why we start with the My Book of Bible Stories first. And then the older they get, then we go into daily Bible reading. But everybody sits in on the daily text, whether they understand it or not. This only takes a few, very few minutes, less than five minutes. Now, yes, my little ones do not generally understand the daily text. But, because of the Bible story foundation and then our daily Bible reading, Leela usually does because this, she has had that foundation laid. And, and otherwise, for the little ones, besides, you know, it's okay if they don't understand it. They're getting in the habit of we do daily text every day. So they get in that habit so when they grow old enough, they know they can easily continue that habit. They don't have to work hard at making a new habit. They've already got that habit. And so that's why we do that, whether or not they can understand it really or not. Now, again, the Bible reading, that takes much longer. So I don't expect them to sit and listen through all that. But the daily text, yes, that's short, that's fast. And then eventually they will graduate up to this daily Bible reading. And so anyway, I hope that was helpful. A lot of people have wondered when I say we use this, that, and the other. And, it seems really, really overwhelming. Also, I forgot. I was going through books last night, the Little Jewel books, because I don't have all of them. I don't plan on buying all of them because not all of them really go along with our beliefs. I was just going to get the ones that are morals more than Bible ones, just more the moral ones. So I was going through because they've got, like, tons of them. So I remembered I bought this at the library for $0.25. Cents. Love $0.25 cent library books. And this one is Children's Hour, Volume 5, Best Loved Poems. In my next week of scheduling, I am going to start scheduling one a week. When you get books like this, you don't have to go through it all in one day. No. One poem a week. We're going to do one poem a week. And I'm thinking I will probably do this again in our circle time, where everybody listens to one poem a week. I don't know which day we'll put that on. I might even have Leela do the reading so she gets her um, get some oral reading in as because um, most of her reading is silent. But she may start doing our oral reading. This isn't very important for us to understand, like our Bible reading and other stuff that I do orally, and I want them to be able to comprehend. So if she messes up or whatever, it's just a poem, big deal. But it gives us a little more culture and a little bit more. And this is like. All this is children's poem, so we will never run out. We could use this for years, but I'm just going to start assigning one a week for that. But anyway, if you find stuff like this at your local library or used book sales, these are awesome. Awesome. Highly suggest getting them. They look out of date, but, you know, it's the same stuff. It's the same thing. But they, they've they just rebound them, and you're paying a much bigger price at Barnes & Noble, Amazon, whatever. So go ahead and get a 25 cent book. It's fine. But anyway, I hope this was helpful. I know a lot of you seem overwhelmed by when I say I do this and that and the other. It's really not that much every day. I do not want to tire my children. I don't want to lose their interest. We want to make learning really fun. We do other stuff too. We go on field trips. We go and see hands-on things. But our actual days of doing in-classroom work, it's it's two hours or less a day, and I do not want it more than that. Um, 
so but you do what you what works for your family this is what works for my family it doesn't have to work for your family but i'm hoping that this will give you some ideas and i hope you liked it and if you did give us a thumbs up and thank you